Welcome back to Redneck Ingenuity. My name is Miles and today we're prepping for spring. We're gonna go ahead and get the snow blower taken off of my mower here and get the mower deck on the mower. So that way we're ready to go. I'm getting ready to take a vacation. When I get back, it's gonna be go time. So let's get to it. get on the other side here. Wait a minute. on its side so we won't need to fill it before we put it in so we'll just unscrew it quick come on now Okay, I think we're all drained out here. Okay, pull the soil out of here. <clears throat> Let's add some oil. Too bad. It's up there. 
Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the drive shaft back together here. It kind of looks like a square one, but it is indeed a rectangular drive shaft. So it does have a specific way. It's just easier to put it on this way and then this collar locks onto the splines on the front of the PTO shaft on the front of the mower. This one's a power deck. It's not like the other one to take off. Pretty simple. It'll pick itself up and put it on there and we'll uh, get her on. All right, and then this nifty little tool comes apart and slides. Oh, goes this way. Right in here. And this pin goes back through this angle here. Snaps on there. Stores it in that tube. All right, she's now fully hooked up to the deck. Oil changed. <coughs> Ready? Well, let's check the blades. I think I changed them in the fall, but I'm not sure. And that's what I love about front mount mowers, especially the uh, electric lift. To change the blades on the 725D, it is a three quarter inch bolt that holds each blade on. So I'm gonna change to these. They have been sharpened for the season. Always make, sure you, always make sure you don't put your blades on upside down. The easiest way for me is to just slay them how they're supposed to go up. Put the bolt through them. And then I always start them with my hand to make sure you don't cross thread them. Because if you push the impact on it and tighten it up right now, if you hadn't started it first, you can cross thread it and screw your whole spindle up. And there's the blade change. While we got the deck up in the air, I'm gonna go ahead and put some grease in the wheels. There's no uh, grease circ in the spindles there. Those are all sealed bearings. So there's no grease there. All 
All right, we'll put the deck down. There's a spindle or a grease circ on the uh, PTO shaft. <sighs> All right. All the U joints are sealed on either end, so there's no zerk on those. Okay. Now there's three under here. Of course, the leaves, I need to blow this out. But there's one on each of the blade spindles. All the idlers are sealed, so there is no zerks on those. That is the front end of the mower. Now let's head to the back. As is with the front, there's no zerk on up, up here. So there's, there's a sealed bearing there. Um, so we got one around the axle. It's underneath there. Highly recommend this fitting on a grease gun. You squeeze it, you let it go, and it locks on. Awesome, super helpful. Wouldn't use a grease gun without it. All right, we're gonna blow out the deck here. Make sure everything's nice and clean for starting the season. episode. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next Redneck Ingenuity.